Hello and welcome to another tutorial by Synthetic Programming. Today we are going over the Photoshop Express app for the iPhone. I am on an iPhone 6 and this app is wonderful for all of my photo editing needs. It is like a glorified Instagram because it's Photoshop and Photoshop is amazing. And what we're going to do today is I took a picture in chemistry class and we're going to take that picture and we're going to edit it. We're going to make it look sick. Uh, so sick that we could put it on Tumblr or Instagram. This one I'm not going to because, you know, I mean, that's chill, but... No. Uh, what, what we're actually going to do is we're going we're gonna to go through and edit it. I'm going to show you some filters now. So we've got Vibrant, Autumn, Spring. Uh, summer is interesting. Winter is cool. But, you know, for this one, we're not looking for any of these uh, these kinds of filters. We're looking for something that gives it a cool, um, a modern-looking tint. And when editing photos, I don't tend to go for things like Dream, uh, you know, especially when they have to do with chemistry. Uh, Super Punch, sometimes I would go for. Vivid is an interesting one, uh, definitely not Contrast Punch or Vivid. I would really go for one of these earlier ones that really give it a, uh, let's see, Vibrant keeps it pretty cool looking. I'm going to go with Autumn because Autumn darkens up those blacks as you can see here. Spring and Autumn, the difference is it'll darken up those blacks, it'll uh, take down that exposure. And so we're going to get the dark surfaces of the lab bench, and it'll bring out the contrast in the lighter the lighter items. You can actually edit the extent to which this this filter is applied. Uh, I'm going to put it all the way up because this is a pretty a pretty good starting point. Uh, cropping. Now, usually I would crop. I don't really find it necessary for this picture, but you know this is how cropping works. It's pretty straightforward, uh, pretty easy. Um, Instagram will crop it to a square so in the event that you are gonna post it to Instagram say like we are uh, we're gonna do something like this and I would say that this is probably yeah now that that's straightened and everything I think we're good uh, that is gonna be our crop there we go our square for Instagram so sharpen see this one's a tricky one I tend to give it a little sharpen, not too much. If you give it too much sharpen, you'll see it starts to look a little too uh, too choppy in some places. Make give it that smooth look. Uh, it's the difference between filming a video on you know a flip video camera and then a Red Epic like really great camera. Like for like when they film movies, you know you don't film a movie with an iPhone uh, if you're gonna put it on you know on a big screen. So exposure, we're good. Contrast. I'll punch up contrast a bit, not too much. See, if we don't have enough contrast, the shadows don't come out too much. The shadows really come out. We don't want to expose them too much, so we're going to leave it uh, probably, uh, I'm going to put a 16. Let's see. Yeah, okay, we'll ballpark it around 18. Okay, from there, we don't have any correct. Add a bevel. Bevels really make your photos look more professional. Uh, I'm going to add a thin bevel, however. Uh, actually, let's see. Sorry. Th Ooh, that's not nice. Okay, we're going to go for the basic bevel. Usually it doesn't cut off as much as it did, but okay, there we go. That's a very thin bevel. Uh, blemish removal we don't have to worry about. And now you can technically upload this to any of these social media outlets. Um, I am just going to show you really quickly how you can look at the original. As you can see, there's the original, this top button, uh, top right. You'll see it over here. Uh, you know, you hit that again. You'll see the edited, original, edited and you can really see where that's gonna bring out a lot of really cool uh, you know it gives your Instagram your Tumblr whatever you're editing photos for it gives it more potential especially right off your iPhone this is a great way to start it's not the full Photoshop no but it, it is a great starting point and I really really advocate for it awesome well thank you guys so much uh, leave a comment leave a like subscribe uh, we really appreciate that people have been more active recently. We're getting a lot of views, a lot of subscribers, and a lot of comments. So keep it up, guys. We really appreciate it, and we answer every comment. So, you know, your comment will not go unanswered. Uh, I just, you know, thank you guys again so much, and uh, stay tuned. See ya.